Welcome back folks to Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut for the Sony PlayStation. I'm Samurai TX and I'm Solzary. And this is brought to you by MatchGames.ca. In the last video, we entered the other side of the mansion and um, collected other items. Now um, we need to collect the um, key, well not key, we collected the two dormitory keys and um, we haven't really used this key yet, so we're going to use this key to um, solve the puzzle. And first, we're going to pick up these herbs. I'm going to take this herb. But we're going to use it because Chris did get hit earlier. But good thing for extra herbs. It's always good to have extra herbs, isn't it? Oh, look, there's another one there. Oh, there's no space. I'll have to come back for that one. So for now we're going to leave it. Is this the save room? Hope it is. Actually you know what, I think this is the way where we use the key. So let's use the dormitory key. And discard it. Then go back for the green herb. Yes, I said go back for the green herb. But we're definitely going to visit the save room first before we do anything else. But not now, anyway. We will reload. Ah, there's the green herb. Yes, in fact, we will take this herb. We will reload, just in case. We don't be attacked by zombies. We do have one clip left. I wish we had more. But for now, looks like we're going to have to contemplate having none. So let's go this way. Let's clear out this room, because I know there will be something in this room, like a zombie or something. Let's go in here. Come on, I'm ready for you. One, two, three, four, headshot. Told you I was ready. And now we've got 26 bullets available for us. Excellent. Is anything else in there for us, like a small key or anything? I would love to have small keys. Nothing major about a washstand. Yes, there's something. There's something major about it. It's the fact you can wash your hands and whatnot. And there is something special about a toilet. Because you don't want to go to toilet elsewhere. That'd be disgusting, do you, Chris? I'm not sure. Oh! Be careful. One, two, three, four, five. Is it dead? Yes, it is. Right, we're not going to read these, um, we're not going to read this because this is the VJOP report. We read the VJOP report already, now a book is missing. We put the red book here, and then the shelf moves. We're not going to go through the door yet, we're actually going to go to the save room to um, actually prepare ourselves. Because we will need to get, we, need, we do need to get to the root of the problem. So we definitely need to prefer prepare ourselves for that, not prefer, prepare. Right, let's go to the save room, which is this way, I believe. Gonna discard the Beretta for now. Not discard as in disown it, but pull in the safe box. Move away from this, ah, get off me. I was about to say move away from the tentacles, but the tentacle got me instead. Right, is there any increment in this room? I actually do want to save my progress. There's, I haven't picked up one ink ribbon at all. It's kind of lame. Right, let's drop this. Now first let's swap it. So I'll swap you for you. And swap the shells. Where is it? The shells for the clips. Put down this crank for now and put down the herb. So we're only going to carry these these um, these three things, and just walk around without the sh um, shotgun equipped, because we're going to do a scenario. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I know you do. Ah, get off me! Well, are we on green fine? Yes, we are. So, yes, let's get to the root of the problem. Chris is not going to be equipped right now, but he will be soon enough. 
Is it this way? Yes, it is this way. The other room is just the room that um, had um, the, all of the equipment. So now let's go in this room. <laughs> Open the door. I like this music. It's very atmospheric. Well, the Resident Evil music always had great atmospheric music anyway. Well, let's go through this door. And the plant is alive. And stupid Chris is going to walk to the plant. Oh no! Get off us! Wow, that's a scream. That's not be a scream he makes if he's about to die. Please. Rebecca! Rebecca, no, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Oh no! Take this file with you. Yeah, we don't need to read that. We already know what the Bee Joe report is. to make the potion and but, kill yes. the root. Rebecca, please. All right, Chris, you have my word. We will help you. Snake, do you want to do Chris, this? Don't die! Well, hurry up, Rebecca, if you don't want him to die. All right, I'll do the V-Jolt. You just talk about math. All right, so the V-Jolt report. You have to make 16. So the V-Jolt report is 16, number 16, as um, the whole thing. So you have to make a lot of combinations. So... Without further ado, let's start this combinations by collecting these bottles. Oh look, five uh, five bullets left in our gun. Right, let's pick up all four bottles, because all four of them will be relevant. Right. Pick up the empty bottle. And pick up the fourth empty bottle. Right. First, we are going to put water in it. Water is number one. Um, red is number two, so UM number two. And then if you combine um, one and number two, I think you get green. If I believe, oops, where is it? The water. I believe you get, oh no, you get purple. Four is green, sorry. So we're going to um, pick up number four. Yes, we will take number four. And we will mix it with number three. And it becomes white. So, UMB one's water. UMB two's red. UMB four is, um... UMB four. That's green, I believe. Yeah, UM number four is green. Um... Number seven is white. Number six is... Is there number six? I think there is. Number six, I think, is blue. Anyway, um, let's put in number two. Let's put in another number two. Yep. And we are going to mix number two and number four, which will give us yellow. That's right, yellow. And then we mix number six and number seven, which will give you 13, which is blue. And then we just need to mix the red with the water. So we're going to do that right now. Wait, we got two waters, don't we? Yes, we do. Silly me, we got two waters. Um, just in case, if I didn't have one, I'd put one in there. Well, luckily we have one reserved water bottle. But yes, we're going to mix the number 2 with the water, and the uh, number 3 with the number 13, and that's the V-Jolt. So now we're out of here. That's how you make the V-Jolt. It's very easy, you just have to get the number 16. So it's mixed, so it's if you mix 1 and 2, which is water and red, it will give you... Um, it will give you number three, and then add number four, which will be, um, well, you will get it, but one, two, then f mix four with three, and then make another one, which is um, four and two. So that will be, um, then they mix seven and six, and then do number one. And number two, 
and then combine number one and two and then put number three in number 13 and that's your v jolt very easy plus it's on the wall for you as it is anyway if you get stuck it's on the wall in the um in the room where you had to mix up the combinations i'll go back in there to show you that it's in the room eventually but yeah so it's one and two and then mix it with number four that's seven and then you do a two and a four that will give you six and a mix of six and a seven which will give you 13 and then get another one and then a number two and combine the number one and two and then combine the three and then 13 and then there's your video so yeah that's your video <laughs> All right, you did okay. I'm pretty sure they understand. Let's see. Oh, we can't fit in there. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to leave. Yeah, we kind of made a boo boo there. My God. Sorry. It's all right. It's not too bad. But we will get to the root of the problem in this video, so don't worry. Click, click. Click, click, click. But I really did enjoy doing the mix of the V-Jolt again. It's pretty fun doing the V-Jolt mix. We don't have to do those two boxes again. I hope not. Right, one, two, three, four. And then let's push it out like three times. Like one, two. At least we can fit in now. Yep. All right, good job, Snake. Now let's push the box forward. It's gonna take a bit of time, so should we fast forward the process? No. Actually, do it. The music speeds up. Alright, let's start. Yeah, the, that push in the box takes a bit of a while, so. Yeah, that's why I kind of fast forwarded it by holding backspace. There'll be. Oh, look, herbs. We'll pick them up as Chris, no less. Because I don't think we'll be Rebecca again after this v stuff, so... Let's get to the root of the problem. Chris will be down here eventually. Yeah, I think we'll end the video once we're down here, once we finish down here anyway. Alright, sounds good to me. Alright. Solve the problem. I planted v -jolt. What do you mean we can't use it here? Let's use it. Then the chemicals are going to weaken the plant. It's not going to get any nutrients, and that's up to Chris to stop it. There we go. Looks like we've completed Rebecca's um, cameo for this game. It's always fun to switch character to character in this game. Oh, help me! I'm not going to make it! Oh. We have defeated V-Jolt. If you thought that was it, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. You see, the V-Jolt plant is still alive. What plant 42? Quit the shotgun. Let's go. One, two, run away from it. Three, four, ouch, that hurts. Ugh. Uh, uh. Right, do we need to reload? Yeah, we do. There we go. Reload! Shoot it. And it's down! <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, take that, you stupid plant. It's not gonna come back alive. I still find the way Barry killing it to be epic, you know, the way he just got the flamethrower and just burnt it to hell. Right, we're gonna use this herb because we got damaged. Now we're fine again. Unfortunately, this plant doesn't give us anything, so let's go. At least we won't be fighting that again. Oh, I can't believe it. Thank you, Rebecca. You okay? I appreciate your help. Thank yeah, you. so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. <laughs> Saved again. Sorry, I have to laugh at the way he delivers that I line. It's just... terrible. <laughs> really, thank you. 
Yeah, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah, of course you would. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. Right. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago. Oh, really? But he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I think so, too. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We Thank should somehow you. let Brad know we're here. I believe Brad was part of the Bravo team and the person that uh, flew away because was like, No, don't go. Yeah, that was Brad. Chicken heart knickers. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Okay. You can proceed. Thanks for the help again, Rebecca. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. And it's all thanks to you, Rebecca Chambers. And this is where we're going to end the video. So when we come back, folks, we'll play more Resident Evil Director's Cut. Until then, until then, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.